Over the past month, a debate has been growing between the Student Government Association and the Wellness Center. In the beginning, Wellness Center Director Dr. Jeff Burnett was approached by SGA with a proposal that would require students to pay $1 per credit hour in order to fund the center. We're not having to put together some huge fee like the, all the other regional schools do. We start out slowly, we save our money, and then that dollar increase can stay pretty close to the same. Since it is the only university wellness center in the state of Kansas that is not currently funded by the students, but allocated by SGA, it seemed of all amendments to pass, it would be this one. Not the case. Last week, SGA President Bradley Strammel vetoed the bill because it was deemed unconstitutional. The reason um, I have stated time and time again through the, um, through the newspaper and those that I visited with on the phone and in my executive report in the SGA is that it was an procedural error. Over the past week, there has been confusion over what went wrong, who was to blame, and what will happen now. Dr. Burnett is worried all this negativity could damage the image of the Wellness Center. I didn't get any emails today or any phone calls on my way back from Topeka or I was at Kansas Board of Regents discussing the procedure itself. It was very shortly mentioned. What was mentioned was, was veto negativity Wellness Center. LPAC is hoping to rewrite a resolution and submit it properly sometime in the future. Until then, the Wellness Center will still be allocated through SGA instead of being funded by those who use it the most, the students. For KFHS News, I'm Cassidy Knowles.